Hello, this is going to be an unboxing video of a budget-friendly Polaroid action camera, which I think is really cool since I didn't know that Polaroid made action cameras. As with any action camera, just keep in mind that the cheapest action cameras do not really have image stabilization or really any good stabilization at all, so there are ways to improve video quality like filming underwater, keeping the camera very still, moving it very slowly, and filming in light conditions when it is when there's a lot of light outside. This is a cheap, budget-friendly action camera that we purchased on Amazon recently, which does not include a micro SD memory card. So if you have not already and you have just purchased a camera without a memory card, I would recommend buying any uh, buying a micro SD memory card. Typically, 32 gigabytes is a great size because most cameras will accept 32 gigabytes or at least 16 gigabytes should get you plenty of footage, plenty of storage space. So that being said, let's talk about the camera once you have your memory card or if you're just thinking about buying a camera, feel free to follow along. So what do we have here? We have a Polaroid action camera. I actually did take a little bit of time before this, before starting the video to remove some tape, just because that's the part that I usually struggle with. <clears throat> so anywhere there's some tape removed, I'll tell you what I did, because I don't think you want to watch me on the video trying to to cut away at the tape and removing it, because that part I usually don't really like. So we've already removed some tape. Let's see what we have here. We have a Polaroid action camera. The model is here, ID757. That's ID757 action camera. Very cool uh, packaging here, waterproof. There's no underwater housing. Supposedly it's waterproof. I'm not gonna guarantee that. HD video recording. I think this is the cheapest one on Amazon. If you search for Polaroid action camera, this is the 720p version. There's a rubber silicone case that will protect the camera from hopefully getting damaged if you drop it. And some more specifications and information here. Well, just accessories. Okay, so there's a USB cable for charging and transferring the footage. It's the ID757, as we said, Polaroid action camera, the cheapest one, I think, on Amazon, purchased for around $29.99. That's how much we purchased it for. Some a, a little uh, picture describing where the buttons are. Again, some more information here. Very cool dustproof, uh, meaning that the the um, the lens is protected from, I guess, receiving a lot of fingerprints and, and and dirt and things like that. You can always just wipe it off. That's that's always nice to see, dustproof. And here it is, the Polaroid uh, ID757 action camera. Let's get started. I already moved the tape, so that would be easier. Um, there's already a few things I can tell you about the camera because I tried to turn it on and I'm going to tell you a little bit about that in just one second. So here we have, let me just move this a little bit. There we go. Okay, let's starting the unboxing process. If you'd like to just skip the next part of the video, we have some video tests with vi sample footage recorded with this camera. So if you just want to see some video tests, you can skip the next part of this video. So in our cheap Polaroid action camera, what do we have here? We have a silicone case. It's kind of this soft material. Here is the actual camera itself. It already has this strap attached to it. There's a place for a tripod if you have that accessory. Here it is, the Polaroid budget-friendly action camera. As you can see, it is dustproof. The There is a cover to protect the lens. It says high definition, waterproof, etc. Sorry, it's a little bit uh, dark here. My apologies. You can, you can kind of see it. There we go. So if we remove the case, we're going to get to the part where we can actually see, clearly see where to insert the micro SD memory card, since keep in mind that you do need a separate purchase, a separate a memory card to insert into the camera so that you can store your footage, otherwise you cannot store your footage. So again, we have the space for the tripod. Here is the camera, the strap, <clears throat> we can take that off if we want. And uh, here we get to the area where we can open up the slot to insert the micro SD card and also where the, the USB cable is going to go. Just kind of, you'll need a thin little thin metal object. I just had trouble doing this with my fingernail to open this cover. So here's where you can see where we insert the micro SD memory card, the memory card for storing your footage. There's a reset button right here. It says reset. And there's the USB port where you can uh, connect your cable to connect your camera uh, uh, put insert the cable to connect your camera to your computer so that you can charge the device and also to transfer footage from your camera to your 
computer. So there we go. So one thing I will say is before I started this video, I actually did look at the camera just to make sure it turns on. And one thing that happened was it was not turning on and it wasn't charging either. So I clicked this reset button. I, I used a, I think I used a paper clip. It's a little reset button right there. I put a paper clip in there. I'd insert until I heard a clicking sound, that little, uh, that little hole right there. Uh, and then I actually got the camera working. So if you buy this camera and if you're pressing this on button right here, the power button holding it down, nothing happens. It might have battery, but there might be something wrong with the camera. So I actually do recommend clicking that reset button. That'll reset your camera to factory settings. And for me, that worked. So I was actually almost ready to return the camera until I realized that we might as well try the reset button. So just keep that in mind. If your camera's not turning on, here's the on button right here. If you hold that down, doesn't nothing happens, then try inserting it in object here and then until you hear a click, the reset button. Okay, that being said, you do need a memory card. So I'm gonna do that right now with the memory card that I already purchased. Uh, we're gonna do, I'm gonna just insert the memory card here. And again, another thin metal object. You're gonna hear a click. There's the memory card, great. Now we can actually have some space. We can hold our, some storage space for our footage. Okay, so this is the device, uh, the accessories, uh, probably a lot of standard accessories here that I'm not really going to go over. You have your little case. That's kind of cool. You have some magnetic, you have mag, you have a magnet here, some magnetic mounts. Okay. I'm just not really going to talk about these because I don't really use them. Some straps here that are typically included, some mounts with adhesive, um, have bicycle helmets, accessories, I don't know, bike accessories, things like that. It, it, attach your camera um, to various objects. Pretty cool, but I don't really use these accessories. Onto the camera itself, we've inserted the micro SD card, memory card, which is again a separate purchase. Going by these buttons, here we have the on button, so we're going to hold this button down. I had already reset my camera and it started working. There was battery here. And of course, we're going to test the camera. So please feel free to skip to the next part of this video if you'd like to see um, some test footage. Here's the camera. And now we are going to look at the menu. So everything is very clearly labeled, very easy to use here. We've got the menu, which is the center button. We have the mode button, which will go between playback mode to playback any footage or photos you took on this camera and also to show, to go to picture mode. So we have video mode and picture mode as the two main modes. The OK button to start recording, or if you're taking pictures, just take a picture. So we're gonna click the mode button, and that takes you to the default um, setting for photos. I don't remember what it is, but we can take photos. Clicking it again gets you to playback mode. We have no files here because we haven't recorded anything. And again, back to camera mode. So let's, let's say that, let's do that again. We have photo mode, that's just pressing this mode button here. Playback mode to look at any files you just created, whether a picture or a video, and record, uh, video recording mode. And this button, of course, this OK button is to record. The, the buttons correspond with what's down here. So the menu button is the middle button, and this button is the record button. All you have to do is click the OK button, and it's going to start recording video. So let's look at the menu and see what kind of options we have here. So we have video settings, and we're just going to click this button right here. Again, I like that it really tells you what the buttons are for. You can just you don't even have to look at the buttons. You can just see what's down here. So let's see what video settings we have. We actually don't have... Um, sorry for the... Um, hmm. Sorry, for, it's kind of hard to see here. Sorry about that. So let's see what, what video settings we have. We only have two video settings. Let's go back. So again, just to double check. There doesn't appear to be any resolution settings, which is fine. It's, it's very simple. Looks like we only have one video setting. I think it's 720p. So let's go back. And again, let's look at the menu. System setting. What do we have here? So we have the date and the time language reset and format if you've used your memory card in their previous device and you want to format your memory card i would recommend doing that uh, show the interface and that's it so we don't really have a whole lot of settings here especially for video which is interesting because typically even the cheap action cameras you'll be able to adjust your video settings your video resolution and here we don't have a setting for video resolution just you have one setting to record videos at and that's it which is kind of cool. I like simplicity. I also really like that it's dustproof. I wish more cameras can do this. You cannot do this with most cameras. If you 
the lens typically is raised a little bit and there's no glass over it so if you touch it, it it's gonna smudge it's gonna leave dirt and fingerprints but this you can put in your pocket and if there's a little bit of dust you just wipe it off and that's perfect i really love that kind of glass that covers the lens this is the camera those are the settings, just really very minimal settings here. No ability to change your video resolution, which is fine. This is really the entry level, kind of cheap, cheapest option, I think, in terms of Polaroid action cameras. You just press that button to turn it off. On Amazon, at least that's what I think, because I saw the, the $29.99 version and decided to get it. This has been an unboxing video of the Polaroid action camera that is indicated here. This is the ID seven five seven and we are going to go outside and make some videos right now and take some pictures which you can see after this uh part of the video some sample videos and maybe some sample photos but sample videos and photos will cover in depth in another video as well thanks for watching this video the polaroid id 757 unboxing video and video test i'm gonna go outside make some videos and you can see what the footage looks like recorded with this camera thanks for watching this video have a nice day and the video tests will follow shortly. The usual minimum amount of accessories. Oh, I had almost forgotten when I was talking about accessories on my unboxing video. The USB cable is right here. Very important. Uh, allows you to charge your camera and transfer the footage. So this is um, gonna gonna plug here. Uh, sorry, gonna connect one end of the USB cable here. Uh, one end to the computer and that allows you to charge and transfer the footage of course don't forget if you're buying a camera that does not include there's not part of some sort of special bundle more often than not you will need to purchase separately a micro sd memory card which we already have we purchased it separately and here's where the usb port is so it connects one end to your camera the other end to your the usb port in your computer and of course then we can charge our camera and transfer the files from the camera to the video once we've recorded videos and taken pictures with this budget-friendly action camera so i'm here to talk about video tests what is there really here with this camera there is as, as i said one video resolution setting which is very interesting even for a cheap action camera they decided to keep it simple which i think is cool they give you one resolution setting and we're going to find that out by going to the menu uh and seeing that really there are no uh options for uh video uh resolution which is totally fine we're gonna go make some videos just a 29.99 price that we purchased for so uh purchased it for so i'm not really looking for anything spectacular but I'm going to go make some videos. Video test with this Polaroid ID 757. I'm going to let you decide for yourself. This is not about me. It's about you. Uh, do you think the quality looks good? What do you think? Um, recommend filming in sunny weather. So hopefully there'll be enough light so that we can film some good videos. This Polaroid cheap budget friendly action camera. Video samples will follow. Here are the accessories we have. Came with this strap. There's also a little case here, which I'm going to keep off because... Uh, whenever we want to transfer footage, we have to take it off to be able to access the USB area. Right here, the Polaroid uh, budget friendly action camera. We're going to make some videos right now. Thanks for watching this video. Have a nice day. And um, there will just be some sample videos recorded at the one resolution setting that we have. And I'll let you decide for yourself. Do you think the quality looks good? Are you interested in purchasing this? This is a very interesting camera because it has it is dust proof. It has this covering over the lens area so that it will not... Um, really it's very easy to remove the dust you don't have to you can put it in your pocket and anything like that um a lot of the lenses are kind of raised so we always try to avoid touching it because it'll attract fingerprints and dust here absolutely not this is some kind of glass or plastic over it so the lens is protected from any dust very cool video test will Hello, this is another video test. W only one resolution setting here available on the Polaroid ID757 action camera that we recently purchased on Amazon. Here it is. We're recording with this budget-friendly camera. Dust-proof design, waterproof design, so that in a light rain or light drizzle, the camera should hopefully be protected against the elements. Dust-proof design, so there is a glass, kind of hard plastic covering over the lens, so the lens will not attract smudges and dirt and you can just wipe off any dirt off the lens very nice design you can put it in your pocket this is the polaroid id 757 i actually didn't know that polaroid made action cameras but here it is this one just the cheapest one that i found for 29.99 that was the price that we purchased it for here it is recording with this budget-friendly uh, action camera right now 
How well can you hear me right now? How good do you think the video quality is on this cheap budget friendly action camera? Polaroid ID757. There's some water on the lens, I apologize for that. Hello, this is a video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. It's sort of sort of drizzling a little bit. Here's the camera we purchased on Amazon recently for $29.99. Uh, and then there's of course any tax and shipping costs. A little bit of a drizzle here, but we have this dust proof design. Um, waterproof design. So in, in, in light rain, I think the camera will hopefully be protected from the rain given the design according to the box it should be waterproof it's not going to submerge the camera but I will have the camera out in the light rain so hopefully nothing will happen this is a cheap budget friendly action camera with no stabilization only one resolution setting for video so don't expect to see any sort of fancy features here as you can see this if you go to the unboxing video very minimal accessories USB cable there's a case so here it is, budget-friendly action camera with no stabilization. I think there's some water on the lens, but you can just see here for yourself. Do you think the video quality looks good? How well can you hear me right now on this uh, camera? Thanks for watching this video. Just a just a um, video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Not too many features here, just photos, videos, and that's it. Hello, we are here once again with the Polaroid ID757 cheap budget friendly action camera purchased on Amazon. This is both a video test and an audio test. Hopefully you can hear me right now. One thing I will say about this camera, the Polaroid ID757, is that the built-in microphone seems to be very good. Probably the best out of all of the 15 or 16 action cameras I have. This uh, built-in microphone is, I think, the best. Uh, captures audio very well. No external microphone plugged in. And considering that this is a dust proof, this has a dust proof design, waterproof design, 
That's quite incredible that the audio is not muffled. So this might be a good camera for making videos with commentary. So we'll see how this test goes. This is an audio test and video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. I'm the camera down right now like that. So only one video resolution setting here with this camera. I think it's 720p. Nothing too fancy, really not a lot of settings, barely any video settings, but this is the Polaroid ID757. Action camera, the cheapest one sold by this seller. I actually didn't know Polaroid made action cameras, but I guess so. Just testing this camera, video test, audio test, Polaroid ID757. Very minimal settings here. Like I said, just one resolution setting. There's no like, oh, 1080p, 720p. I think it's just 720p. I think the product description on Amazon. So that is it, that just this camera, I mean, just this setting that we have here. Audio test, video test, can you hear me right now? Uh, in the test I did, I think the built-in microphone is very, very good. Sorry it's a little bit cloudy today. I'm home from work and I'm here again and it's cloudy weather, so that, that just is just what it is. Polaroid ID757 action camera, budget-friendly, purchased on Amazon, $30 before taxes and shipping, etc. Once again, this is a video test and audio test with the built-in microphone, the Polaroid ID757 action camera. <coughs> Put the camera over here a little bit. Here we go. Here we go. Polaroid ID757 action camera. Polaroid ID757 action camera purchased on Amazon, cheap budget friendly action camera <coughs> with the built in microphone audio test. <coughs> Hello, hello. This is a video test, audio test with the Polaroid ID757, cheap budget-friendly action camera purchased on Amazon recently for thirty dollars before taxes and shipping. Just, just to test to see how well can you hear me right now? How good is the audio quality with this uh, built-in microphone on this cheap budget-friendly camera? The Polaroid ID757. Only one video setting here, I think it's 720p, just one video resolution setting. Let's just turn the camera here a little bit. This is the Polaroid ID757, budget-friendly action camera, <coughs> purchased on Amazon. There we go. Video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Video test with the Polaroid ID757 action camera. Let's see, Polaroid ID757 action camera. One resolution setting we have here. One video resolution setting. We're just walking around making some videos. Polaroid ID757. Action camera.
This has been a video test with the Polaroid ID757. Budget, cheap, budget friendly action camera with very few settings. Audio test and video test.